In the last part, of course, we have learned how to get started with Azure Cosmos DB. But now, in this part, of course, I'm going to create a new Azure Cosmos DB account. So follow this to discover how we can create Cosmos DB and what is the different steps to get started using this type of database. So let's go and create the Azure Cosmos DB. I'm here I'm in the Azure portal. To create the Azure Cosmos DB, you can go and create a new resource. You can search for Cosmos DB or go to database and then Cosmos DB. So let's click to create this resource. The first step is to choose the subscription. If you use multiple subscription here you can you make your choice of your own subscription. Here I'm going to create a resource group for this demo. Demo Cosmos DB. So and create for the account name Cosmos DB demo demo test and for the API for the core SQL that you can query the database that is structured in the JSON file and if you use the core SQL that you can write SQL query to query a JSON file. Also you can use Cassandra or either Tabor or a graph. For the location I'm going to use the Europe North. The capacity model that you can choose the capacity mode for your database operation that is serverless or provision or provisioned throughput. I'm going to use I'm going to use a free uh, discount for the account type I'm going to use non production there is no difference between the two services but the production um, option is more organized in the interface the U redundancy the multi-region write availability zone here I'm going to choose all network backup policy, the encryption, the service managed key or by customer managed key, the tag to create the services. And then go to the search. On the overview, on the overview here, the location is the North, North Europe and the, in the key you have the primary key and the second key that we can use it to access from the external. 